Welcome to Cage Minds. I'm Micah Frankel. It's fight week for Legacy Boxing Promotions. Back to boxing. The co-main event is going to see the highly anticipated pro debut of my guest at this time, Abraham the Hammer Perez, sir. Thank you for the time. How are you doing? Good, good. Thank you for having me. Got to ask right away off the bat, how, how does it feel? This has been something that you've literally been working towards all your life. It feels good. Shoot, I'm I'm about ready. Well, I, I've been ready for about, I'm going to say like two years already. I've been feeling a lot better, like as far as condition, experience. I've gotten plenty of experience with the USA team overseas and uh, getting good sparring at the Olympic Training Center and uh, also getting good sparring with my brother, everyone over here in Albuquerque. So I feel good. How long, honestly, did it take to to process and and get past, you know, winning the Olympic trials but not getting chosen for the team? To How long did it take to put that situation behind you and look forward to this pro journey? That took a little uh, – it took pretty long, longer than I expected to kind of get away just because, you know, it's, it's every person – well, every athlete's dream is to, like – be on stage in the Olympics and uh, competing, like, in front of everyone, you know, national television and all that. Um, so the fact that, you know, I, I beat the kid um, twice. I went ahead and, you know, I was, in the, I was in the camps and I'm over there thinking I'm number one. And next thing I know, they tell me no, is I, I can't participate in the Olympics. It was a big letdown for me. Uh, I feel like I let everybody down here in the state in the states you know but um i i guess i could say it i surpassed that about a couple months ago so i barely i barely decided to put that behind me i stopped i stopped really ranting about it you know i'm not gonna try to beat you up and i don't want to feel like I'm, I'm digging at it but did you watch the olympics uh yeah yeah i watched it they were good um, of course, I only watched the boxing part of it, but it was all right. I mean, I was staying up a little a little late, but it's it's whatever. We had uh, one bronze medalist, I believe, and three silver medalists. I believe it was. Yeah, yeah I think so. Yeah. But no, yeah, they did good. Happy for them. I'm proud of them. Shoot. And how long did it take you to get excited uh, about the next step? Well, um, I, I normally get excited when I start talking about it. When I start talking about it, I start, I start thinking of things and I see it all out there and, um, you know, the adrenaline starts getting in me and all that stuff. Like right now, like if I start talking about the fight that's going to happen or the fights that are going to happen on Friday, I'm already going to be all excited, all jittery, you know, but no, I feel eh, like, as far as, like, the adrenaline goes, like, it hasn't really hit me yet, but it's going to hit me, of course, the day before, which is going to be Thursday. And, of course, I'm going to be having that rush, that energy all through Saturday. Well, what's the thoughts when you see the posters, when you see the tickets, when you see these printables, and you're right there next to your brother? It's cool. It's, it's cool. It makes, it makes me, like, we end up, we have a, a big, uh, how can I say it? Like we have, we have like, so we've been doing this for a while together already. So it's cool to see each other on like on a poster together, you know, side by side. And uh, we're both going to be on the same card, which is also nice. I haven't fought with my brother in a long time. I think the last time I fought with him would be 2016, 2017. So I was already like four, two, like five years, five years already. So it's, it's, it's cool to see. Uh, him back there and me right there warming up with him again so it's cool because the last time that we did it was in Kansas in the amateur in the amateur tournament so it's cool so so what are some memories that that you take away from that last time you guys fought from Kansas hmm. shoot I guess I could say the laughter <laughs> we had a lot of laughs um we're both starving starving um we're both on a diet together now so 
like what he went through, I was going through it with him. It wasn't so bad for me because I'm I'm little. I I can make the weight pretty easy. Him, it was more of a struggle, but he's uh he's gotten a lot better at it. Me, I'm just the same all now, just five five four pounds away. And uh, no, yeah, we always had like jokes, like and we're always in the saunas together, or we'll be running together, you know, with sauna suits or just um uh, windbreakers, and. Yeah, that's, that's the main thing that I remembered uh, back then throughout every tournament that we had, actually, throughout every tournament. Heading into this one, under the family banner, Legacy Boxing Promotions, it's going to be the first time for those of us in attendance to not see you running around, leading the show, being like event coordinator. <laughs> has, has it been weird from your perspective? Now being like right there with your brother, you're you're an athlete. You're not promoting right. the event, right? Yeah, it it is a little bit weird, uh, just because I feel like I need to do something. I need to help out in some way, um, whether it's seating seating all the people or, or you know, just helping them out in general. You know, getting the fighters waters and all that stuff. So I'm gonna be that person. Well, I'm not gonna be that person because I'm gonna be stretching out, warming up, and just focusing on the fight. So it, it it is a little weird. I'm not gonna lie, but um, it's also something new. I've never not helped in a legacy show, so we'll we'll see. We'll see who they replace me with <laughs> on Saturday night. <laughs> I, I'm figuring we're gonna see your brother in that role, right? Right. Get the next man up. <laughs> <laughs> right. Saturday night, you become a professional athlete. How, how does that feel? How does that hit you when you hear it? It's, um, it's still, when you think about it, it's like um, when your second foot's in the door, you, you really can't go back. The door's closed. You, the door's locked. The only, the only thing you got to do is just keep moving forward. Um, so, yeah, as soon as I get this first fight, pro debut, I'm officially a professional fighter i can't go back to the amateurs and go compete you know it's another step it it's a different kind of fight how how do you prepare for this one is it any different than all of the amateur fights yes um i could say i could say that because in the amateur fights yeah i mean it's three minutes three rounds and you got you got to do what you, you got to work with what you got in three minutes for three rounds so you got to always have a fast pace in the amateurs so it's it's more of a points you know you score your points you try to dominate the fight uh your ring generalship is what counts you can take a little bit of that with you into the pros you do get one extra round when you start you know four rounds three minutes um and the tempo is a little more slow in the pros so i i had to learn how to calm down um, it was almost like learning how to fight all over again because I, everything I felt that I was doing, I felt like I was doing it wrong. Uh, but no, that's my coach. And he, that's what he sees. He sees some things that I need to correct. So I, I mellowed down a little bit just as far as um, speed, speed goes. Not speed, but more like with, uh, with the way the rhythm is in the ring. You know, I'm not, I'm not competing as an amateur. I'm competing as a pro, so I got to be a little more uh, not more of a scoring points type of thing, you know. You got to pick your shots, and you got to – every sh every shot that you shoot, you got to make it count, you know. You got to pick your shots, especially this is the most important thing. Is there a certain kind of mentality you take into the ring this first time as a professional? Huh. Um – Confidence, to stay confident, you know, just trust in what my my pops, my coaches taught me throughout these years. Um, that's the only mentality that I got, just straightforward mentality, stay focused. And right now as we have it, Matthew Melton, that's the opponent? I guess, you know what, I didn't even know his name. <laughs> if that's his name, then Cherry, you know, um, Molten or Melted. At this stage of the game, first couple <laughs> fights as a professional, is there that not needing to really know too much of your opponent? Can you explain that a little bit? Um, I guess, I guess, 
like in a way it really doesn't affect me because I've been spar or sparring for the amateurs. I was always finding people that I didn't really know who they were or how they fight or even what they look like. I don't even know what this, uh, what my fighter looks like right now. Um, I just barely found out his name just now. <laughs> uh, but no, it doesn't, it doesn't affect me. Normally it takes me a quick 30 seconds in the fight to be able to de determine what's going to go, what's going to go down and how things are going to go down. Have you at all thought of what it's going to be like making that walk, hearing the crowd here at home? Yeah, I've been, I've been pretty excited about it. Uh, it's, I've never like, well, I can't say I never have performed over here. I have in the amateurs. It's uh, it's cool. Everyone's always, you know, all happy, um, you know, cheering me on as I walk into the rink. But it's, you know, it's just a different feeling when you're in your robe and you're right there with your trunks and you're just walking in there with your coach um, down down the hall, you know. It's, it's exciting. You know all the local guys, so I got to ask you like this. What's the first pro weighing going to be like? Are we going to see you all, Brian Mendoza, the, the death stare eyes? We know how intense Brian would be. Are you going to get all Derek Pettis where it feels like there's about to be a fight right there? Josh Torres all pumped up. What kind of mentality are you going to bring to the scale? Shoot, I guess I guess we'll just have to see because I don't even know what I'm going to bring up there now. Sheesh. I guess we'll just have to see how it goes. It's been a while since you fought. Does it feel nice to just be able to get back in the ring? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it does. I, I haven't fought. It's about to be a year. My last fight was in October. So, yeah, it's um, it's exciting. It's exciting to get back in there, it's to get the adrenaline back, you know, shake off some rust just a little bit. And now that you're starting with this pro journey, let, let's not think too far down the line. Let's say 12 months. What, what's your expectations, some goals here for the next year? I should have around five fights. That's that's the goal I kind of that's the goal that I'm aiming for within the next year. I want to at least have another five fights. Awesome. Awesome. Abraham Pettis, thank you for the time, sir. Thank you.